Hey YouTube, Blastoise Rules here with another video game pickup video. Um, these pickups are a couple of weeks old now. I think these are my pickups from three weeks ago, something like that. Uh, but I'm going to get started. I got a nice assortment of games for a bunch of different systems. The uh, Sega Genesis... Xbox 360, PlayStation 2, Sega Dreamcast, PlayStation 1, PS2, Super Nintendo, and Nintendo 64. So I'm going to start showing what I got. I got a copy of Gran Turismo for the N64. It was a dollar. Fighter's Destiny for the N64 was also a dollar. Extreme G2 for N64 was a dollar. Command and Conquer for the N64 was a dollar. That's a really, really heavy game, by the way. Like, just the weight of picking it up. And lastly for the N64, I got Hybrid Heaven for a dollar. All uh, five of these N64 games are all games that I do not see all too often. Um, hardly ever to tell you the truth. So I don't think there's a huge amount of them. Around at least Fighters Destiny, Gran Turismo, and Hybrid Heaven. I don't see too many of those. I see a few uh, Extreme G2s here and there, but I see a lot more of the first one. And also a few Command and Conquers here and there. Next, I got three Super Nintendo games. Uh, two of these are brand new for my collection, and one of them is a duplicate that I believe is a label increase. So I got Wings 2, Aces High, for a buck. Apparently this game is super common, yet I've never seen it until now, so I don't, I don't really know. It's only got a rarity on the rarity scale of a 1. Then we have Animaniacs, I remember this game from when I was younger. Really cool, fun game. That was a buck also, which is a nice find for the price. It's usually about five bucks. And lastly for the Super Nintendo, we've got Roadrunner's Death Valley Rally. That was a buck too. Next, I have a PS2 game. Got this from a friend of mine. Special edition. Devil May Cry. Dante's Awakening, I think. Yeah. Complete. It. It's a good game. I played it before. Um, I only paid two bucks for it, which is a nice price. Next, a couple of PS1 games. We've got Stuart Little 2. And to tell you the truth, I think both of these PS1 games are new to my collection also. I think it was... 50 cents. Part of 1 Dalmatians. 2. I've been waiting to find this game. That disc looks awesome. Yeah, the case is a little broke. The one that hinges is missing. But an awesome game. Especially one that I've been looking for. I'm always looking for like the Disney games. Just because they're cool collectible items. I'm going to play that one give it a try. It looks like fun. Next, we have three Dreamcast games. 
Tokyo Extreme Racer. I already have one of these, but I think this one's in better condition. Oh, we actually have another PS1 game. It's in the wrong case. It's in the Digimon World case. It's actually Battle Hunter. I don't know if I have that or not, or if I have it already. Like I said, it's the wrong case, but even so, I already have the, uh, the manual for this case. <laughs> So, that's awesome. Even if I don't have the game disc yet. And NFL Blitz 2000 for the Dreamcast. Those, all those PS1 and Dreamcast games, all five of them were, I paid like three bucks total between the five. Next, I got a copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for PS3. I already have it on Xbox. Um, it's alright, I guess. I mean, the uh, single player was amazing. Co-op's amazing, but online it's not really one of my favorites. But I've been playing this for a few weeks again, just online. And it's fun. I mean, I get my butt kicked. Black Ops is where, where I'm good at. Call of Duty was. That was five bucks. And then we have Fable 3 for the Xbox 360. I've actually been picking up a few of these here and there. You'll see more of those soon. It does not have a manual though, sadly. But there's the game does. The price says $9.99, but it's buy one, get one. So it was five bucks. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 was five bucks. Really good finds for the price. And lastly, I have a couple of Genesis games. We have the Lion King in the, the case for a dollar. I already have this game, but I don't think I had one in the case, if I'm thinking correctly. It has the manual and crappy shape. The cart's not in too great a shape either. But, oh well. For a buck, what the hell. I'm not going to pass it up. And Miss Pac-Man. With some weird signature or something on it. I think it's this person's name. Jose... Rangel? I don't know. Probably the previous owner. And... I don't even know what this is. Some random manual that's all beat up. And I think this is the real manual right here. With the carp, it has a sticker and sticker residue on it. It was still only a box, so decent pickup for the price. So those are my video game pickups for this week. Uh I'm always shooting these a little behind, so it's actually a few weeks ago, but oh well. Um, not too bad of pickups, a lot of nice stuff that I don't see too often, so some pretty good finds for the prices too. So uh, stay tuned for my next video game pickups video and my next Pokemon card opening. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching guys. Bye.